All right, hello everyone. And today we are going to go over the controls config page. I'm seeing that a lot of people are facing issues with this, trying to understand what the general controls are, airplane controls are, and what the specific airplane controls are, how to kind of navigate around this whole, uh, whole uh, mess of a menu that they have made. Uh, totally think this is not the best way to do controls. I think, I think 2020 had this right. I, I'm not sure why they, why they messed with this and why they changed it. The UI is absolutely terrible. But anyway, let's uh, let's at least work with what we have what we have right now and try to make it all seamless for you guys. So what we are going to start with is uh, we're going to start with the mouse settings here. So first click on mouse. So you'll see that there's general controls, there's airplane controls, and there is uh, specific C-152 aerobat controls because that's the aircraft that we have selected right now. So if we talk about general controls now, I'm, I'm pretty sure nobody has a proper list of, of controls out of these things that fall under general controls. But I saw that things like tools, uh, menu, multiplayer, and liquid drop system, maybe this one falls under VR. So VR, menu, camera, all these things fall under the general control section. So whenever you try to assign something to, whenever you try to assign something to, to the camera section, for example, let's say I assign this to a middle, to the middle mouse button, it will prompt you to make a new general profile. That means that that control belongs to the general control section. We'll cancel that out for now. One more quick tip here. Whenever you click on a device, just make sure that you hit the X filters here and change that to assigned. That will make your life way more easier where you'll, where you'll have all the list of controls that are already assigned to that device. So you'll have access to all of that right here and you can, you can edit and change whatever you want, right? So that will make your life easier, that's one thing. And then you might also see numbers here. Um, wherever you have the uh, button, you will see the numbers on the right. So that numbers tell you how many conflicts this button has. Now, how do you find what those conflicts are, right? So you just click on this gear icon here, the settings icon here, and that will show you the list of conflicts that we have here with that middle mouse button which is not necessarily bad uh, because you would want the middle mouse button to do something in cockpit view, but then you would want to do want it to do something else in the external view. So I'm not saying it's necessarily bad, but this is just an information that's available to you that, hey, if you are linking this control to this button, you will have two conflicts and you can check those two conflicts here. Okay, now for mouse, um, I have seen that mouse 2024 traversal and mouse 2024 planes are these two settings uh, are the default profiles that work very well. I am not going to mess with that. Uh, you will see one thing that our free look hold and free look toggle buttons have changed. Uh, so your right click is now free look hold button, but you'll I think you'll get used to it very quickly. In fact, I feel like right click uh, free look hold is, is better than doing the uh, better than doing the middle mouse button. So just leave that on mouse 2024 uh, setting for both airplanes and uh, uh, and the general controls. And then make sure that you are applying this to all the aircrafts for both of these. Make sure that you just click on that multiple times applied to all the aircraft. So this becomes your uh, this becomes your mouse settings core mouse settings, which will not change with any aircraft. Okay. Now, second one is keyboard. So for keyboard, what I would suggest is I think most people would be used to, uh, most people would be used to using the uh, MSFS 2020 keyboard settings, right? So you have a couple of profiles here. One is the 2024 traversal. And the second one is 2020. I would suggest if you're used to flying on MSFS 2020, just shift to keyboard 2020 for both general controls and airplane controls. And then again, just like we did on the mouse, we click on apply all aircrafts a few times to make sure a few times to make sure that this mouse and keyboard setting becomes our general setting throughout the simulator. It doesn't change. Okay. So that is good. Now, 
and we'll go over if you want to create a new profile what do you do and stuff like that so if let's say you want to create a new mouse and keyboard profile you do it similar to how you would create any other profile on any other controller so we'll go over that if you have a gamepad like a like an xbox like an xbox joystick or something something like this then i would suggest you leave that gamepad setting over to gamepad 2024 and gamepad 2024 planes as well and then again like i said apply to all aircrafts you don't need to apply to all aircrafts here because you don't even have any uh, settings specific to cessna 152 next one is my uh, win wing joystick like this this is the joystick that i used to fly uh, this is the joystick that I use to fly the uh, um, Airbus. So here, like you see, you don't have any general settings. The only three settings that I have assigned to, G, uh, to this joystick is aileron axis, elevator axis, and autopilot off. That's the only stuff that I have assigned to it. Now, let's, uh, let's real quick review how do you set this up, okay? So I'm going to delete this. And this is where you learn how to set new profiles up. Now, one quick tip whatever default profiles you have here for example for keyboard you have the default profile for 2024 2020 for mouse you have it for 2024 you cannot override those profiles okay so if you change anything from that default one you would want to duplicate that default profile and then change whatever you want to change on that newly created profile okay so that's something that we are going to do here so Let's say I want to assign my aileron axis to, to, to the axis that I have on my joystick. So I would type in aileron axis and hit enter. Okay, that didn't work. Let's go back. I think, ah, okay. That's because we were looking in assigned. So when you want to assign a new controls, make sure that you, you have no filters on. Otherwise, it will not show up because nothing there's nothing assigned, right? So it will not show up. Okay, so when you look for aileron, you'll have aileron axis and it will allow you to scan that axis. Now, as soon as you scan that axis, you will see that you now get, a, get an option to create a new profile. So I will say that I want to, I want to use this, uh, let's not name it general, that is too confusing. So I would make this Airbus, okay? And Although the name is Airbus, I want to use my joystick for all the airplanes, right? Uh, if there's any airplane that I can fly with the joystick, I would want this joystick to be used for that. So I'll click on apply to all aircrafts and then click OK. So that is now going to create a new Airbus airplane controls profile under my joystick, um, under my joystick config. Now, OK, aileron access is done. Now let's do the elevator real quick. That's elevator axis. Now, anything that you do here is going to get saved in the active profile that you have selected here. Okay. Any changes that you make to this profile is going to be saved in the active airplane controls profile. And any changes that you make to general controls, which we will see, it will ask you to create another profile for general controls and it will get saved there. I know it's complex. I know, but that's that's exactly how it is so let's see autopilot off i want to name this one uh i want to assign this one to this button that i have on the joystick so i'm going to assign that to that and then like you see automatically it gets saved to airplane controls because it knows that autopilot is one of the airplane controls right now let me show you an example of a general control so let's go to camera right and uh, maybe reset cockpit view is what I want to assign to a button on my joystick so I will just search for reset cockpit view and then I'll click on this press that button you see how it told me to create another general profile because we don't have any general profile for this particular device. So the way they have done it is they have divided every device into general profile, airplane controls profile, and specific airplane controls profile. We'll talk about the specific one later. 
but okay so the general controls i'm going to name it again as airbus and i'm going to apply it to all aircraft all aircrafts because uh, i want to make sure that even if i'm flying a fighter and i'm using this joystick it all of this still applies to that aircraft as well okay so now we have a new general controls profile and now anything that you set in the camera section or anything that you set in let's say menu section on this joystick will directly get saved into this general controls profile now another thing that i hate about this system is that you cannot export a profile so let's say i've worked really hard for a device to create a create a profile that works i cannot export that and nobody else can download it and just get out of this whole you know pain of creating a profile themselves for each and every device or again like i like i said it's only as difficult as the number of devices that you have which i have the joystick i have the tca yoke throttle quadrant and the rudder so i'll have to pretty much do it for all all four of them right mouse keyboard and controller is not that difficult we have set them to whatever um, i linked you to right so okay so we have our uh, joystick profile pretty much set if i think about assigning anything to any other buttons on the joystick i would make sure that first of all i am active on this airbus profile for both general and airplane and then select whatever controls because remember we don't know what controls fall under general and what controls fall under airplane right unless you actually select that and you actually uh, it actually prompts you to create a new profile so just I, i don't know how to simply explain this honestly but yeah just select the general profile and airplane's profile that you have made for a particular device before you go ahead and assign anything to that profile okay all right so now moving on to the rudder pedals again exact same concept that i explained for the joystick also applies here so here what i've done is uh, again we'll switch to assigned so i have assigned the left brake axis right brake axis and rudder axis that's all we have on the rudder there's there's no other there's no other buttons right so it would prompt me to uh, it would prompt me to create a new profile so there is already there was already this none 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 all of them were none right now as soon as i assigned the rudder axis it prompted me to create a new profile which i have named as general and that one will be applied to all aircrafts because all the aircrafts are going to use the rudder in the same way so i have made that as a general setting which applies to all the aircrafts right general this general controls doesn't even exist because we don't have any we don't have any cameras or menu action items or anything assigned to the rudder we just have these three things assigned uh now throttle quadrant is where things get a little complex because for throttle quadrant you'll have to create multiple profiles you'll have to create one profile for general aviation you'll have to create one profile for airliners so i think i'll create a separate video just for bravo throttle quadrant so hold that thought right now but i think from what i explained you you probably already figured out how to do the throttle quadrant here so you do it profile by profile uh, go go for the create a new profile for both general controls and airplane controls go to that profile name both of them as ga and then set up everything that you want to set up then create a new profile name that as airliner and then set up everything that you want to set up right so all of that gets saved automatically into the respective uh, profiles that you have created here uh again honestly you don't need to know which controls go into general and which controls go into airplane and which ones go into the specific airplane controls because all you have to do is make sure that you have the same name for general airplane and specific and and then just start selecting and assigning stuff and it will automatically get saved to either of these right it doesn't matter okay same way for tc tca yoke what i've done is i've created a new general profile and i've created this ga profile and i'm going to rename this one as ga as well so that there's no confusion like i explained before just name the profile the same and then start assigning stuff from on here 
which you are already aware of from uh, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, I believe. Hopefully that was uh, hopefully that was clear enough. But if it is not, just feel free to. I think I have understood this well enough to at least set up profiles for people. So if you haven't understood it, please uh, make sure that you comment um, on the video. I know sometimes I can be incoherent. So yeah, comment on the video if you have if you're facing any problems, and I'll I'll help you out on Discord or something. And then the last thing that we need to talk about is the specific C152 Aerobat controls, right? So this, these controls, I have not yet been able to find any uh, any controls under this menu that are specific to the Cessna 152 or specific to some other uh, some other airplane. I believe it has to be something like this skydive system. Like for example, this one might be. Uh, this one might be a specific control let me see no this one's not a specific control either okay so yeah that's that's one thing that I don't know yet but what I'm assuming is again you don't have to know right you don't have to know just create a new profile here duplicate this name this as GA and just set everything up like you would do here you you should not care about where each of these controls belong right you don't care about that all you care about is your controls getting assigned and uh, they stay in the specific uh, profile so just yeah just set them up they'll get pushed in whichever section here it doesn't matter to you Overall, that is how it works. I know it is a little complex and I hope they simplify this, but for now that's what it is. So briefly talking, whenever you go to a device, create new profiles at least for general and Airbus, uh, sorry, general and airplane controls, and then start assigning stuff from your device to the um, to whatever you want to assign it to in the sim. And uh, that should be it, yeah. So that will give you a nice streamlined set of controls for for each of these devices the only tough one would be bravo throttle quadrant where you'll have to have a four engine profile where you'll have to have a twin engine where you'll have to probably have a single engine prop so that's a pain i know but i'm going to make a separate video on how to set up the bravo throttle quadrant for uh, general aviation for dual engine airplane for dual engine prop and for uh, for four engine airliners so we'll talk about that later but i hope this is helpful and i if if it's not and if if there's some confusion still please let me know in the comments and uh, make sure you leave a like and uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this thank you again for watching and i will see you on the next one a lot of videos related to msfs uh, coming in soon so stay tuned see you